Hey, what's up, Internet? Long time no see. I'm sure some of you have been wondering where I've been. Uh, by now, everybody's seen the Nerf Apocalypse, I suppose, the 3.15 patch notes and the manifesto and everything. And uh, this is about the time when I would normally upload my next update to Freezing Pulse Totems. And I've been thinking a lot about it since patch notes and talking with a lot of people. And ultimately, I don't think I'm actually going to update Freezing Pulse Totems, at least my build guide, for Expedition League. Uh, and I want to make clear that that's not because I necessarily think Freezing Pulse Totems is dead. Um, I'm certainly going to miss uh, this build, as it's something I've obviously been playing for a long time. Um, I also miss things like Bottle of Faith and even Wise Oak, because that thing got dumpstered. Um, I actually think Freezing Pulse Totems will probably be okay-ish in 3.15. Um, naturally, Controlled Destruction cannot be part of a crit build anymore. It reduces your crit rate to like one-fifth or something. Which is uh, the right thing, right? Controlled Destruction was never meant to be a crit gem. They were right to nerf this. Um, you probably just swap in Critical Damage Support here, is what I would guess. And obviously you're going to have to, um, you know, analyze your flask changes going forward. You might not need a diamond flask anymore with control destruction not lowering your crit rate, I'm not sure. But the one thing you probably are going to have to do, and ultimately I think the reason I'm not keen to update my Freezing Pulse Totems guide for this, for this patch, is you're really going to want to gem swap. I think you're really going to want to slot in Ice Spear and things like Rain of Splinters and actually do sort of a full swap to Ice Spear when you're taking on bosses like Shaper or Cirrus. Especially when you're hitting that 20 watch stone range uh, in Atlas progression, right? Like you're just getting to your first Cirrus around Awaken or 5. We're getting Discord messages while I'm talking. Um, but right around then there's going to be sort of a pain point of single target where if you aren't swapping to Ice Spear, you're really going to feel like you're hitting a wall. Because ultimately, this build lost about half of its DPS. If you were just playing Freezing Pulse like I did, and weren't doing swaps, you actually are going to lose about half of your damage. Now, at this level of gear, where this character is, I think right now I'm like at, you know, 20 million DPS or something. Um, I, I Going from 20 to 10, I'm sure I'd be able to do everything in the game just fine. But the way that I make builds, and the way that I think about writing guides and things is that I want to take a build from league start to where it finishes and I want there to be very smooth progression at every single step and I'm not confident I uh, freezing pulse can do that in the way that it used to uh, it'll be okay as like I said if you are gonna do ice spear when you need it to supplement your single target I personally don't like doing that so I'm not as confident about like suggesting freezing pulse totems to people in 3.15. That doesn't necessarily mean I'll never update that guide again. It does mean I need to see it for myself, right? Uh, I don't want to league start it because I'm not confident about that state of the build. And if I'm not willing to league start it, I'd feel like I shouldn't be willing to update the guide, right? I feel like updating a build guide like that, especially for me, is a big advertisement that says, I think I'm 100% confident you can invest your time into this build and it's going to do something good, right? I'm 100% confident it'll work. And I just, I just don't have that feeling anymore. Uh, so, to that end, let's talk about Forbidden Right Totems for a minute. Because my plan at the moment is to go ahead and... I'm going to be starting very similarly to Freezing Pulse Totems, but my plan right now is to play Forbidden Right. This is not a particularly uh, unique concept. I would imagine by the time I upload this video, I've been talking to people about it ever since they revealed Forbidden Right. And if you've been in my Discord, you know we've been talking about it a lot. And uh, there's definitely a lot of other people talking about it because Forbidden Right is a skill that seems like it was... Maybe not built for totems, but it certainly has all the earmarks of a skill that was going to do really well on a totem. And if you're unfamiliar with this gem, it's basically... It's basically like Dark Pact, where it sacrifices 
a chunk of your life when it casts, and then it scales its damage based off that life. This skill, unlike Dark Pact, is not like an AoE radius, like a Shock Nova or anything. It's like, uh, it shoots a bunch of projectiles. And it shoots projectiles based on the number of enemies near the caster. So, there's a lot of questions, I guess, we have about this skill. But, it's been pretty easy to put together kind of a basic uh, plan for this build. Because it's going to grow a lot like Freezing Pulse did. We're going to want like a Soul Mantle and a couple of Kikazarus and a self-flagellation. We're going to be playing it a lot like that progression where we start, you know, Holy Flame Totem, just like how we used to. But we're going to swap into Forbidden Right instead of Freezing Pulse. Obviously, I can't do an in-depth guide on this skill. The patch isn't even until tomorrow. Well, I guess at this point, it'll be about 12 hours from now. Uh, and I'm certainly not the type of guy who wants to write a whole guide on a skill that I've never played. But... We are definitely going to be league starting it. And if you want to jump into the Discord, we definitely have a lot more path of building links floating around that give you some ideas of what this skill is going to look like in endgame gear. We've been trying to do some some simming and, and some planning for what an endgame would look like. And to be honest, the skill looks really, really strong. Uh... I'm not super concerned about this build being weak. I'm mostly concerned about learning how to progress with this skill. Going from Holy Flame Totem to when to switch to Forbidden Right to what you need and what we need to look for once we make the initial swap. Right now, I have GMP attached to our Dark Pact, which is sitting in for what Forbidden Right will be when they update Path of Building. I wouldn't pay any attention to really the damage numbers just yet. But, um, you know, one of the first things we'll have to learn is how added projectiles change the behavior of Forbidden Right. We don't know that for certain. If there's any kind of added projectiles adding damage to the primary target, like if there's just one target, this skill is going to absolutely dunk on bosses. Even just assuming it shoots two projectiles, which is what they show in the video, when he's just fighting one Roa and it shoots two projectiles, because you shoot like one primary and then there's an auto target one because it's a nearby enemy. This skill is going to do a crap load of damage. But if there's any kind of added projectiles, like this is going to be busted. So this is what I came up with for like a really rough draft for what I want to league start. Um, there's a lot of POBs floating around for Forbidden Right Totems, I think. I've seen a lot of people try to come down here for Primal Manifestation. I'm not as convinced of this. I feel like uh, the life scaling is probably not good enough to justify how much of a reach this is. Of course, if you're coming down here for Agnostic, this is a pretty good jump. Like, compared to Freezing Pulse, it's a lot easier to rationalize coming down here for Agnostic because this Primal Manifestation node will be kind of a saving grace for dipping down this far. But otherwise, it is actually built somewhat like Freezing Pulse Totems, in my opinion. Or more like, I guess, sort of like building Dark Pact. Um... We'll be using some clusters that have Totem Life and Totem Chaos Res. You know, one of the other things we're going to have to figure out is can we really, like, afford to switch to Forbidden Right before we have one of these Ancestral Preservation Mediums? I don't know if that's true or not. I suspect it might be. Uh, totems have 20% Chaos Res as a base. And for a long time, they've had 45% less damage taken as, like, a innate property of being a Totem. I don't know if that's still the case. Sometimes totem changes get buried or just not reported in patch notes. And I know in Delirium back in 3.10 they made changes to totem life where they may have removed the 45% less damage taken mod. This is something that was like floating spell totem. That was back when they were trying, like they originally made that change all the way back in 3.0. They were trying to nerf like righteous fire totems or something. So we'll see. I think at a minimum, like without a cluster, it probably shoots three times before it kills itself. With one cluster, though, I think it'll feel fine at a minimum. Uh, getting two of these is going to make the build. Two might actually be overkill in practice. This is one of the things we're going to have to look at. We'll have to look at things like, do we actually want to have Wither on spell totems? Or do we want to 
really have multiple totems in our main link, kind of like freezing pulse. There's a lot of things to figure out. I'm actually kind of excited, honestly. I feel bad that I'm not going to be updating freezing pulse totems as a guide. I know it's been a really popular guide. I know a lot of you are probably watching this video because you found my channel because of freezing pulse totems. Um, if, if you're one of those people, you know, I'm sorry I'm not updating it. I'm kind of doing it for both of our benefit. Um, if you really, really want to play freezing pulse totems, I think you can still use my guide. And I know Firegrass and somebody else even uploaded some new freezing pulse totem guides on the forums if you're just absolutely determined to do it. I just don't feel confident enough to recommend that build to other people um, based on what I have seen the patch notes. So if you want... Feel free to stop by the stream tomorrow. Uh, I will obviously also be reading the Freezing Pulse Totems thread um, and you know our own Discord. We'll be talking a lot about Forbidden Right Totems. We may wind up just turning that guide into a Forbidden Right Totems guide and you know everything carries on with a different skill. We'll have to see. It's kind of a, a brave new world and I suppose that on some level that's what Grinding Gear wanted with such a massive patch with as many nerfs as 3.15 head. I mean, look, if you can push me off of freezing pulse totems, you've definitely changed Path of Exile. <laughs> like, you cannot be uh, told you failed in that task, huh? They definitely changed the meta, at least for me. So, I'm still looking forward to the league. It's funny that these changes have made the actual expedition part of the league, like, such a footnote. Um, I have no idea if the league mechanics is going to be interesting, but we've got a lot of work to do just to see if we can find a new really fun build. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for league start. Uh, I'll put the link to this path of building if you want to try and, and do Forbidden Right as your starter uh, here in the description of the video. You also can come by the stream, and I'll definitely be doing my league start series, especially for this build, because I don't know. I don't know exactly where we'll go with this just yet, but uh, yeah, everything's going to carry on as normal, except not at all like any of the past like 15. <laughs> I guess it hasn't been that many, right? I guess I've been playing it since Legion or something. Uh, that's uh, a lot of leagues, actually. <laughs> anyway, uh, Freezing Pulse is dead. Long live Freezing Pulse. It's not actually dead, but you know, maybe. We'll see. For now, though. It's uh, Forbidden Right Totems, League Starter. I'll see you guys tomorrow for League Start. And uh, get some good sleep. We got a lot of gaming to do. Peace.